Here we are, August 12th, and here's the front. This we just planted in grass and clover. And the coyote is going to be parked right now for the first time in the big pole barn. Take a look here. This is where the coyote's sitting. I was able to just put another layer of gravel in here, even though it's still wet. At least I got it flattened out. I got a pad out here. The shed, physically, it's all done except for the lights. These are two 20-foot doors. I got a door in the back there. Very functional. I got a door. These four doors that are right here, these two doors is four bays right here for long trailers and things. That door is for short things I could fit here in the back. And this door here is for the tractor. And then in the shop here, I put another overhead door. So that in the shop, I could pull a vehicle in here to weld or to do stuff during the hot or cold or whatever. Come on, focus. And we just had the PTAC unit put in. It's not running yet because the plug isn't in, but there it is. It's supposed to be super efficient. Draws very little amperage, which should be really good on the bills. And there's the overhead on the inside of the shop. So we're making some progress and they're out there marking the house lines right now. A view from the northwest corner. Looking good. And here's a look at the outside. 20 foot doors, plenty of room for trailers. On this north side, we reworked this again, I think the fifth time, and I replanted it the third time. And then over here, I'm gonna have another little drive on the north end of the barn to that overhead door there. Turned out extremely well. As long as we can get the water to run off away from it now, we'll be in good shape. It's all caved in three or four times. I'd like to put some rock there, grass growing, but that ain't gonna happen. And guess what? We got rain coming here in a couple hours. We'll see how my channels work. I re, uh, recut all these channels because they were full, so let's see if they work properly. Right by the mobile home. Where are you, honey? Doe and a fawn. Here's the home site right here. We got her staked out for the uh, concrete guy. Good start. All right, here we are beginning the house layout. We're laying out the stakes, trying to figure out where it's going to go for the concrete guy, and we're trying to figure out the view between down the hill and the big pond. Good stuff.